not-for-profit group called the Environmental Working Group performed a series of studies they called the Toxic Body Burden Studies. And they took volunteers across the U.S., people just like you and me, and they tested their blood, their urine, and breast milk for toxins. 100% of everyone tested was toxic, and the results were astounding. Here's a little of what they found. One test on breast milk had 35 of 44 flame retardant chemicals. They're used in computers, TVs, and foam furniture. Several of the mothers tested had among the highest levels of these chemicals yet detected worldwide. One study in the blood and urine of volunteers found 171 industrial chemicals. The chemicals included pesticides and solvents. Another study on women found 329 different chemicals, pollutants, and solvents in their blood and urine. And it's not just the adults that are affected. They tested newborn babies, and the average result was 200 toxic pollutants in each one. Again, the point is 100% of everyone tested had toxins in their body. You know, results of toxicity are popping up everywhere. You know, as a matter of fact, my husband and I were recently traveling in Canada. And while we were reading the paper there, we saw that three of the main political leaders agreed to get their blood and urine tested for pollutants. This would be like the President of the United States agreeing to get tested. Well, they checked for over 70 chemicals, and all three had over 40 of the 70 in their body. The chemicals of the highest amounts were those called phthalates. Now, phthalates are found in many types of plastics as well as in cosmetics. But the article was quick to point out that the male politicians are exposed to more of these phthalates because they typically have makeup applied before appearing on TV. <laughs> what if they were women who are wearing makeup every day? And what's most interesting about this study is what the politician said. One said he was alarmed at how many pollutants are in his body. And another said, there's something going on here, which is not good for our health. Let's take some concrete measures now. Imagine getting politicians to realize this.